Hello friends, I am Sanchit and let me welcome you to my channel Knowledge Gate. In this video series, we will be discussing set theory and precisely in this video, I will be discussing oh, set. So what is a set? What is the basic idea of a set? How to write a set and why we will understand why sets are so important in computer science and especially in discrete mathematics. So this discussion is going to be very helpful to you in further topics of set theory and in other topics, whether it is, you know, probability or permutation combination you know that set are the fundamental structures which are applicable or which are used in number of topics so this video is going to be very important so please watch it till last Okay, so before directly going to the definition, first of all, you understand that as I even written here, that set are the fundamental discrete structures on which other discrete structures are built and are useful to group objects together. You understand this thing, set are really the basic fundamental structure and no matter what topic, especially in discrete mathematics, you say groups based on set theory, uh, permutation combination based on set theory, probability based on set theory, graph theory based on set theory. So you understand even not in discrete mathematics, mathematics and number of other subjects like artificial intelligence, neural networks, some computing, whatever topics you say, sets are the fundamental structures based on which other topics are written. And when you'll go further and study in your master's and PhD, you'll understand that even uh, as I feel that more than 50% of the research oriented problem in the later stages reduces to graph theory or even set theory. So you understand that set are the most important structures. They are not used directly, but they are used as a tool in number of different subjects or environments so you understand if you understand the idea of sets clearly it will give you a good advantage for understanding other subjects or other topics or other uh, you can say ideas where sets are used very easily okay friends now let me read out the definition and we'll understand every word of it because definition here is very important so here if you see a well-defined unordered collection of distinct elements or objects of same type a well-defined unordered and distinct collection of same type so let me take word by word for example first distinct so you understand can a set contains duplicacy? No, never. You understand this thing. For example, uh, let me write option A. Here you have one and then two and then three, three and four, four. Now this thing cannot be a set or this collection cannot be a set because set never allows duplication. Every element must be distinct. This point should always be remember. Uh, one note, you understand this thing. Sometimes it is possible that you allow duplication, but that is not classical set theory. It is called multi-set theory. So there are some separate from standard set theory but if somebody asks you a simple set then you understand this thing that set may never contain duplication and even those subjects or those topics which uses set as a basic thing they can also don't have duplication like for example in a database a relation is nothing but a Cartesian product of a set now because set do not allow duplication there is a reason that in a relational table you cannot have duplication two rows cannot be same so one thing again you should remember set never Never allows duplication now the second thing if you understand is set is a unordered collection for example now here you take C and D you see uh, C contains 1 2 3 4 and D contains 2 1 4 3 so means same elements but in the different order are the two same or not certainly they are so you understand a set is a unordered collection means in what order I write the element it doesn't matter at all and again those subjects yeah, those topics which uses these uh, idea of set or also have irrelevant uh, uh, logics about the ordering for example even in the relational table uh, the order of rows and columns is irrelevant because they are fundamentally based on set and even in a set the order doesn't uh, make any change hana? so that is also very important that order are irrelevant so set is an unordered collection and last but not the least is well defined now what do you understand by well defined or you say same types you understand this thing when i say consider a set it is not sufficient i must also say consider a set of what like for example if you read a class 5 or class 6 they'll say consider a set of integers consider a set of floating numbers so you must also tell what is the idea on which you are collecting uh, 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 objects or you are defining a set for example let let me say i am an object now i could be a set in a set 
सेट ऑफ माई फैमिली मेंबर्स आई कुड बी अ सेट इन अ सेट ऑफ टीचर कम्युनिटी आई कुड बी अ सेट इन अ सेट ऑफ इंटीजर इंजीनियर्स आई कुड बी अ सेट इन अ सेट ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग सो यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट आई एज अ मेंबर कैन बिलोंग टू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सेट्स सो आइडिया इज यू मस्ट फर्स्ट टेल वट इज द बेसिक्स ऑन विच यू आर हैविंग अ सेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ गो टू बी नाउ हिर इफ इसी आई से ए बी वन टू अनकान खा टू हिंदी अल्फाबेट्स इज इज अ सेट now you see some of you might be thinking it is a set because they all are characters some of might be thinking that it is not a set because there are some english alphabets hindi english hindi alphabets and some uh, mathematical numbers but actually it depends on the definition so if i say consider a set of characters then it is okay yes it is a set but if i say consider a set of english alphabets now it is not a set because 1 2 and kar kha do not belongs to english so you understand this thing whenever you say consider a set you must tell what is the basics on which you are defining a set then you can understand it properly so again let me read out the definition a well defined unordered collection of distinct objects or elements of same type it is called a set so now i think you must be having a better idea of what is a set now let me discuss further few points also we say a uh, generally sets are defined by capital letters now that is important because you see in any subject you must have some basic terminology or standards because when you understand that then only you are able to read the questions or even read read uh, some literature or books on that topic for example if i write like this consider a set a 1 2 3 4 it makes sense but if i write like small a 1 2 3 4 so to if you want you can define it in that way also but that is not a standard so you see whenever we define a set we define a set using capital letter please make a note of this next one you understand elements are written in curly braces separated by commas so that is very basic understanding how you represent a set so elements will be in curly braces and element will be separated by comma ha huh. next one you understand now you understand these basic two notations it say x belongs to a and x do not belongs to a so if i say this is a set and so i can write like 2 belongs to a that is how you define it again make one more note of this thing also that in standard set theory we say either a element belongs to a set or it do not belongs to a set but in some extensions like in fuzzy set theory you can say as element is a member of a set with so and so participation values maybe ranging from 0 to 1 so that could be a logic but in different log uh, like in as i told you in classical set theory there is no concept of membership so here either you belong or you do not belong so sometimes you can see this in like fuzzy set theory or some other topics but in simple set theory I Either you belong or you do not belong. And the last point, cardinality of a set is a number of elements in a set denoted by simply mod. So whenever I say, for example, like B is there, so if I write like this, mod B, I simply want to uh, uh, tell what what is the number of elements in B. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So here, cardinality of set is B. So now I think you must be having a better basic idea about sets. So let me conclude them. till now we understand that sets are very important structures and they are used to design other structures and used in different variety of topics definition point of view understand that set are unordered uh, discrete collections distinct collections of same elements of same type so all these logics are very important then we understood that what is the representation ordering doesn't matter uh, how you place a curly braces and comma in between and the last i told uh, what is cardinality or how you say uh, element belong or do not belong so i think now you have understood the basic understanding what said now in the later videos let me continue the discussion of set theory so please give me some time i will be back very soon thank you